Hey, hey, Rooted in Fragrance, how is it going? I hope you guys have had a wonderful week so far. As most of you know, or some of you don't, we did just have our Harry Potter collection launch today for the first time to the general public. And let me tell you, it is incredible. So amazing. So they created a extremely detailed warmer that I'm going to show you. We also have a wax collection that features four customized fragrances based off of each of the houses. So let's go ahead and get down to it. This is our super, super stunning warmer. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's almost like a bronzed finish. It's like a brushed bronze here for the castle. So you could just see just the details in the rocks alone, the castle. We have stars twinkling in the night here. You'll notice Hedwig, the owl right in front of the moon. We have the Hogwarts seal with each of the four different house um, animals. So we have a badger, a badger, a snake, a lion, and a raven for the Ravencrawl, Gryffindor, um, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Get the castle here on all sides. So as you can see, it is raised up on the rocks. So crazy detailed. I'm extremely obsessed with this. All right, and then down here, you're gonna notice the boathouse. So that is the boathouse down on the water. Just like those crazy little things that you wouldn't even think to include. All right, now let's show you guys a little, this is where your wax is gonna go. So your wax is gonna go right in here. And as you guys can see, it is a Hogwarts letter sealed with wax and stamped. There is a little sticker in there that says not for food. This is for wax only. We always suggest that you use Scentsy Wax with Scentsy Warmers. Our warmers are patented to only get hot enough to melt the wax. Our wax melts at a lower melting point. So for optimal fragrance experience, to get the most out of your fragrance and enjoy it for the longest amount of time, that is what we recommend. Let's light her up. Oh my gosh. All right, so you can see here, the light is shining through each of the windows through the stars in the sky and even on that little boathouse. How cool is this? I'm so obsessed. And you'll see here, that's where the wax is going, right up here. Now the fun thing, and I can't show it to you because I don't happen to have any bulbs on me, but we have, so this takes our 25 watt bulb. We have 25 watt bulbs available in different colors, including red, orange, blue and green. One for each of the houses. Slytherin is green. Ravenclaw is blue. The orange one for Hufflepuff, but I promise it actually looks yellow lit up. And then red for Gryffindor. So if you are someone who's extremely loyal to your house, I highly recommend adding on one of those light bulbs for only $2. Pop it in there. It's going to light the same exact way. Still going to only get hot enough to melt your wax totally safe to leave on 24 seven. All right. So this is our gorgeous warmer. This is for sale, $75 while supplies last. So that means that once it's gone, it's gone. It may come back at a future time, but we won't know for sure until after it's already sold out and when they decide to re-release it. So I highly recommend not waiting if you're interested. This, I know it's only February and you're probably not thinking about Christmas yet, but if you have a Potterhead on your shopping list, you need to get that warmer for them. So 75 for the warmer, it has a lifetime warranty on it. It is absolutely stunning. The detail is well, 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 well worth the cost. All right, now here we have a wax collection. Again, specially curated for each of the houses. And this is how it's going to come for you. So it looks like it's in a suitcase. We have a little wrapping here. And on the back, it has a little wax seal, just like that dish. So I'll pop this piece off. So you can see it looks like a set of luggage. It says, um, yeah, I'm not going to read that. I don't know what that says, but I'm sure people, I love Harry Potter, but I'm sure that people that are even more in love with Harry Potter than I am probably know what that means. So here is the wax collection. Let's go ahead and open her up. So you're just going to lift this piece here. And there we are, the Hogwarts houses. 
So you're going to see on here the fragrance notes, Gryffindor, Bravery and Determination, Hufflepuff, Just and Loyal, Slytherin, Cunning and Ambition, Ravenclaw, Wit and Wisdom. All right, let's open her up, guys. It comes with a super cute little paper collectible. <laughs> All right, and let's smell through these. Let's start off with Let's start off with Slytherin. All right, so scent description is deep blackberry, dark chocolate, fresh mock, moak, oak moss, and crisp leather. Let's see. So it is green. Now, I will tell you, I have smelled these before. I don't think that the fragrance colors necessarily match what you typically would expect a green fragrance to smell like. So Kevin, my darling boyfriend, is someone who always says, I love blue fragrances, right? So if I were to pick up a one, the blue fragrance, the Ravenclaw one, I'll tell you it doesn't smell like what you would expect typical blue fragrances to smell like. I think what they did instead was pair up the fragrance notes with the house characteristics. So cunning and ambition is that blackberry, dark chocolate, oak moss, and crisp leather. Let's give her a smell. All right. All right. So you're always going to smell. Let me show you. They did a lot, a lot of thought put into these labels. So you always want to smell your wax here on the front. And then I like to pop my wax out and smell it on what I call the butt. So you're going to notice that when you smell a wax bar on the front side versus the back side, there might smell completely different because certain oils have different densities. So you're going to notice that some of the oils sink to the bottom, and that's why you're going to smell them more on the butt. To me, I think that the butt is a little more, a little more accurate for what it's going to smell like when you warm it. So here on the back end of it, I get more of the blackberry, kind of like the dark fruit, not like super fruity. It has kind of like, um, like an amber or a musk to it. And that leather, I get like a touch of that leather, but it's not an overwhelmingly leather scent. I would honestly pretend this is not a green scent. If you are someone who typically likes the brown fragrances, like the light brown, like sheer leather, this might be one you would typically go for. I don't think that the dark chocolate is super heavy. I would not consider that a foodie fragrance. All right, guys, next up, we have the Gryffindor Bravery and Determination. Again, they have each of these house seals on here. This is lemon zest, cinnamon leaf, amber, and smoky woods. Okay. This to me smells like a bonfire. This is super, like, <laughs> it reminds me of like that scene where they're like, they throw the flu powder, catch fire, and then go through the fire pit. Get yeah, the fire pit. The fireplace, that's what it is. Yeah, I definitely get like a very smoky, very earthy touch of the cinnamon. I don't pick up on the lemon, but definitely like that woody, amber, smoky fragrance for that one. All right, next up, we have Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw's Wit and Wisdom. Now, this is a smooth vanilla, airy white musk, incense, spiked sandalwood, and mahogany woods. All right. So I definitely get that vanilla right up front on the back end. Still on that vanilla, a little bit more. This is a mahogany incense. it almost like it almost has a little bit of sweetness to it probably from the vanilla I wouldn't say that it's super musky but I absolutely understand like the sandalwood yeah no that's pretty good I definitely wouldn't call it a blue fragrance but can we just talk about like the shade of blue it is so pretty that's a good one all right. And last but not least, my favorite, because I'm a Hufflepuff, to absolutely no one's surprise, if you look at the characteristics of a Hufflepuff, their favorite class is herbology. I own 50 plus plants in my home. Uh, they love friends. They're very happy-go-lucky. Just kind of, that's literally me. So Hufflepuff for you guys. This is Just and Loyal, Warm Cinnamon Sugar, Golden Apple, White Hazelnut, and Whipped Vanilla Almond. All right. 
So I definitely get like a touch of almond extract. To me, it almost reminds me of like a French toast stick. Like, do you know, like those French toast sticks back from like the early 2000s? They're probably still around in the freezer section somewhere. That's what that smells like on the front. Let's smell the back end. All right, now that is where I hit the apple. So on the front, I very much get the, the maple, almost um, the maple, vanilla, the almond extract, kind of like hazelnuttiness. And on the back end, I definitely get like that touch of golden apple. Now, I would not classify this as a fruity fragrance, so to say, but I would say more so a bakery scent that has a touch of fruitiness. If you like bakery scents, you're going to love that one. All right, guys. So right now we only have these four wax bars available as a collection, which means you're going to get one of each of them in this gorgeous packaging. So you're going to get that. If you are interested, if you really, really love a fragrance, even if it's not your house, if you really, really love a fragrance, you can add it to a Scentsy Club subscription starting March 24th. So that's 30 days after launch is when you can add it to a Scentsy Club subscription because we don't have them in stock individually just yet. But as soon as that hits, you'll be able to add it to your Scentsy Club. And even though this might be discontinued by then, you will still be able to get those fragrances year round as long as you keep your subscription. So a little bit about that Scentsy Club at $30 or more, you're gonna get 10% off. $60 or more, you're going to get that 10% off plus an additional item at 50% off. So $60 order gets you 10% off your whole order plus one item half off, which is who doesn't want a discount, right? Uh, so our Scentsy Club is a completely free, no fee, subscription service, which means you can get your products sent to you on a complete schedule that you choose. Choose to have it monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly, which is every three months. As long as you keep fragrances in your club and don't pull them out, you'll get to take advantage of our perk called Always Get My Bar, which means as long as you keep your fragrance, they will always make that, even if you're the only person in the world that still has that in their club. So Super, super cool. You'll also find access to things like bricks, which are huge. They're the size of my face. Um, you're going to see exclusive fragrance and exclusive offers so, uh, during, during certain times of the year, like Bring Back My Bar. We had an exclusive 10 bars just to Scentsy Club subscribers. You can get things like cotton cleanup sent to you or light bulbs so you never have to worry about running out. Great for laundry products, cleaning products, wax, and oh, so, so, so much more. But that's a little bit about that. We have this warmer and the wax collection available while supplies last. So once it's gone, it's gone. Please, please, please do not wait. Go to the link in my bio to order. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for hanging out with Rooted in Fragrance. And I love you guys so dang much.